Welcome to AdvantageWheelAlignment.com's Quick Start Guide to your Laser Toe Gauge. The purpose of this video is to get you up and running quickly with your Laser Toe Gauge. The terminology that is important to know when using your Laser Toe Gauge is something called the Laser Rail and the Mirror Rail. The Laser Rail is the rail that goes alongside the wheel that has the laser head in it. The mirror rail is the opposite rail, which obviously has the mirror attached to it. Both of these terms will be used during this video and also in your instruction manual. The first step is to calibrate your laser toe gauge so that the two rails are parallel with one another. This is simply just a matter of putting one of the rails, either the laser or mirror rail, up to the wheel in order to line up with the wheel diameter at the height about the center of the wheel. So we're simply going to slide the pins so that we're measuring the wheel diameter or have the pins aligned with the wheel diameter and we're at the height approximately at the center of the wheel. So we're just simply aligning the pins up against the wheel. The next step is to take the opposite rail and match it to it. So we're going to adjust the pins on the opposite rail so that we match the diameter of the one we've just measured. At this point we're going to push the pins firmly together. So as you can see we're simply just making sure that the two rails are aligned correctly for this particular vehicle. Our next move is to turn on the laser and using the adjusting legs on both the laser head and the mirror rail you're going to adjust the legs so that the laser bounces off the mirror and lights up on the white pad directly on the laser head. Once we've got the laser light on the white pad we simply adjust the knob for the dial indicator until that laser light is directly lined up with the scribe mark on the laser pad. So on the white pad you see a scribe mark. We're going to make sure the laser is lined up on the center. Once we're lined up on the center, we simply adjust the dial indicator by using the wheel of the dial indicator to zero. And we're going to lock it into position using the lock on the dial indicator. The calibration is complete. This works on a level or unlevel floor surface. And you're finished, but always make sure that you check the pins when you're done to make sure that they're still firmly together. Otherwise, the calibration will be off. The measure toe is simply a matter of putting the laser rails up against the wheels, turning the laser on, and we're going to adjust the knob for the dial indicator until the laser lines up directly on the scribe mark, just like we did in the calibration. What's important now is that we note what way we've turned the knob. The reason for this is that the measure toe in or toe out is based on the direction that we turn the dial indicator. If we turn the dial indicator clockwise, the wheels are towed in. If we turn the dial indicator counterclockwise, the wheels are towed out. In this case, our dial indicator is eight lines from zero in the clockwise direction which means this car is towed in eight minutes. When checking the specifications for this car, what we find is that a 2006 325 BMW being used in this example has a specification of 14 minutes plus or minus eight minutes. So in this case, we are at eight minutes, so we are in specification. The rear axle, just for note, is 16 minutes plus or minus 6 minutes. So your gauge gives you direct reading in minutes. There are times where the vehicle manufacturer does not supply the wheel alignment specifications for tow in minutes. In this case, we may want to convert. One thousand of an inch on your dial indicator is one minute, as we've seen before in this example. Of course, 60 minutes equals one degree. What you have at the back of your instruction manual is a conversion chart. So if we do not have the wheel alignment specifications directly in minutes, then we'll need to convert. 
So in the left column, you have the minutes, which is the way your toe gauge reads directly. If you have a reading, for example, in degrees of toe, you simply use the conversion chart to find the corresponding degree number that lines up with the minutes. For example, if you had eight minutes, we can see this is 0.1333 degrees. If your measurements are in inches, you'll need to find the tire or wheel diameter, 13 inch, 14 inch, 15 inch wheel, and simply find the corresponding inches measurements on the tire wheel diameter chart. It's that simple. Of course, when you go to adjust your toe, either by adjusting your adjusting sleeve or by adjusting your adjusting rod, the one thing you need to realize is that the wheels will turn. So it's important before you retake your toe measurement to make sure that the pins are still up against the wheels. If not, just push them up against the wheels to ensure you have an accurate toe gauge reading. To remeasure the toe, again, it's simply just a matter of adjusting the dial indicator by turning the adjusting knob until the laser is once again centered on the scribe mark. Once again, note what direction you turn the knob. It's that simple. Additional measurements can be found in your laser toe gauge instruction manual. Additional details, conversion charts, and more all are found in your detailed laser toe gauge manual. Thanks for watching.